Okay, so today I want to talk about one of the uh, great extensions that you can get for VS Code, and that is Live Server. Now, I have here a web page which is being run by the Live Server extension. Basically, it's setting up a little node server and it's serving this page. Down here at the bottom, we can see port 5500. This is my live server. If I click on it, okay, I've killed the server. If I click on it again, what I'm doing is I'm relaunching that page over port 5500. Now, I want to talk about putting HTTPS support for this page into the extension. So I'll close the other browser window here. We'll uh, open this up just so we can see things that are running. Take a look at the network tab so we can see that it is coming up over HTTPS. Okay, now the default, I haven't changed anything. I've gone into the extensions window and uh, down inside here, live server. This is the one that I'm using right now. And we can change the settings for this to allow it to support HTTPS. And I've got a little instruction file here. What I've done is I've copied and pasted this into um, a uh, code gist. So the text file, the link to it is down in the description. You can grab a copy of that and just follow along if you like. Um, we need to generate a private key and a certificate so that we can run HTTPS. So we're going to start off by doing that. And I will jump back over into my Explorer here. And what I'm going to do is inside the same folder. Now, it doesn't have to be in the same folder. I'm just going to do it here uh, simply so you can see all the files at the same place. Where you create the private key and the certificate is completely up to you. It doesn't have to be anywhere closely linked with this. We just have to know the full path to get to these two files. All right, so let's create a folder right here. We'll call it, uh, let's just call it HTTPS. And inside of here, this is where we're going to create the private key and the certificate. So I'm going to open up the terminal. And inside of here, we will CD into that HTTPS folder. And from in here, these are the commands that we're going to run. We can copy and paste them from the file even. There it is. So OpenSSL, this is the command that we're going to run. If you don't have, if you're not sure if you have OpenSSL, you can go to the terminal and just type OpenSSL space version. Hit enter, and it'll tell you if it's installed and which version you're, you're currently running. If you don't have it, uh, you can go online, you can find OpenSSL and download and install that, so then you can use this. So OpenSSL, Gen RSA, this is the command that we're going to use to create this private key. This is the type of encryption, and dash out, this flag is going to let us put in the name of the file that we want to create. Because I'm doing this on localhost, I'm just going to call it localhost.key. You can call it bob.key or whatever you want to do, whatever name you want to use. And then 2048 is the size of the, uh, the key being created. Okay, there we go. There's my key created. It's asking me for a password. We're going to need this in a minute. So I'm just going to enter a password here. And remember the password because you're going to need it in a minute. Enter it again. There we go. Okay, so we have created that. And if we check over here, sure enough, there's the localhost.key file. Great. All right, second step, we're going to create the certificate. So again, I'm just going to copy and paste this to save typing it out again. Uh, after we run this command, it's going to prompt us for the password. There we go. It asks for the password that we created before. Not a new one, but the one that we created in the first step. Okay, there we go. Now, it's going to prompt us for a bunch of information to store inside the certificate. So, country. So, for me, that's CA, Canada. Province is Ontario. Locality is the city. And I'm just going to say Steve and the organizational unit. Well, let's say it's DevOps. And common name, this would usually be your domain name. Um, I'm just going to say localhost because that's where I'm running this. And we'll just make up a, an address to put inside of here. Done. And there it is. Now we have the key and our certificate. Those are the two files that we're going to use. Now, to add this on to this live server extension, um, and if you're looking for a little bit more documentation on this, you can go down through the notes here. 
Here, I'm going to close the terminal for a second. You can go down through the notes and you will find links for the FAQs down inside of here. So you can get more information here. Here we go, the settings doc and the FAQ docs right down at the bottom. This is where you can find more information or another reference for it. All right, so back over here. Now, the next thing that we have to do is we have to create a place to store the settings file. So we need to create a folder called period VS code. And we do that inside of our project. So in every project that we open up in VS code, this is where we'll, what we're going to create. So we will create here a new folder dot VS code. And inside of that, we want to create a new, f a new sorry, not a new folder, but a new file. Let's just delete that one. We don't need that other folder. We want a new file called settings.json. Now inside of here, there's a whole bunch of optional settings. Uh, most of the settings have default values. And if you want, you can just copy and paste the contents from in here. Just like that. Okay, so we need to have the full path to get to our file. And that's why I was saying before, you needed to know where you were saving these files. It's going to be at a place that you won't forget where they are because you're going to link to it. Now, these are ones that I created previously. Uh, I can change the path here. Documents, code, and I believe that my folder is server-ssl. And then HTTPS was the name of the folder here that we created. Server-ssl. There we go. So those are the locations for the two. Now, if you ever want to disable this, you can come in here and just set this to false, and then it doesn't matter what you have typed for the other values. This will say, ignore the HTTPS setting. But we are going to enable it. We do want to do it with HTTPS. So 5501, that is the um, port that I've chosen right now, 5500. We don't have to change it. We can leave it at the default 5500. Uh, this root setting just means that apply it the opening folder is going to be this folder that we're working in our project folder. And then the passphrase, whatever the password is that you used, that's what we're going to put in here. All right, so we save that. And then we will shut down our live server. We could have shut it down before, but it's shut down now. And then I'm going to launch this page. I'm going to go live, jump back over to the browser. And here it is, over HTTPS. Localhost 5501 is the port number. This is the page we want. Now, Chrome is saying, hey, this is a self-signed certificate. It's not secure. Are you sure you want to do it? Yes. So I'm going to go to advanced and then proceed. There we are. Now we are actually loading over HTTPS. And that's it. That's all that's required is just creating that VS code folder or dot VS code folder, putting the settings.json file inside of there, editing these three lines and then creating a folder somewhere does not have to be inside your project where you will create these two key files. So everything that you need should be in here. And like I said, the link to this is down inside the description. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.